in our ongoing series on health span. Today, I would like to discuss the role of uh, genomic instability. So first of all, let's uh, look at what genes really are. Genes are the fundamental units of heredity. They carry the instructions for building and maintaining an organism. They reside within chromosomes in the nucleus of most cells and are made out of DNA, are made of DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid, and their main activities involve the following. So first is protein coding. Genes contain the blueprint for proteins, essential molecules. Proteins are essential molecules that carry, carry out many functions in our body and in the cells of our body. This process involves transcription, transcription where DNA is copied into RNA, also known as ribonucleic acid, and then translation where RNA is used to build proteins. By the way, when I went to medical school, this was the biggest discovery of our time, 1964. Okay, genes are also involved in regulation. Genes control the expression of other genes, turning them on and off as needed to orchestrate cellular processes. Thirdly, there is a function called storage of information. Genes store the genetic information that is passed from parents to offspring. So what is genetic instability? Genetic instability refers to alterations in a gene's genet genetic makeup. This can include what are called mutations. Mutations are changes in DNA sequence, like single base substitution or largely deletions, insertions. Think of uh, mutations as typos in the alphabet of life. Also, genomic instability sometimes uh, is due to what is called copy number variations, gains or losses of entire chromosomes or sections of chromosomes. And then, of course, there are epigenetic changes, modifications to DNA that affect gene expression without altering the sequence itself. So, genomic instability is linked to aging. And here's how. First, there's accumulated damage over time dna is constantly exposed to damage from reactive oxygen species replication errors and environmental factors if left unrepaired this damage can lead to mutations and other forms of instability then there's something called weakened repair mechanisms with age the cell's ability to repair dna damage declines allowing instability to accumulate. There's also something called cellular senescence, which I'll discuss in detail later, but damaged cells often enter a state called senescence, where they stop dividing, but still remain, remain alive, contributing to tissue dysfunction. Also, increased disease risk, genomic instabilities associated with a various age-related diseases like cancer, neurodegenerative disorders, and cardiovascular diseases. Is there a way to minimize genomic instability? Yes, it's a complex challenge, but several potential strategies exist. In my mind, the most important is healthy lifestyle, monitoring uh, our sleep-wake cycles, maintaining a balanced diet, uh, regular exercise, mind-body coordination, emotional regulation, uh, as I mentioned, adequate sleep, sleep, all these can reduce oxidative stress and DNA damage. Also, there are some role uh, for supplements. Some vitamins and antioxidants may offer limited protection against damage and a lot of research is now going on on what are called phytochemicals, signal molecules, adaptogens, and I will be doing several posts on nutrients, nutritional supplements, adaptogens, and signal molecules as we continue this series. Also, 
caloric restriction studies suggest that calorie restriction, I said caloric restriction, calorie restriction, uh, I think caloric restriction is accurate too. Anyway, studies suggest that calorie restriction in many organisms slows aging and reduces DNA damage. And then there are newly developed compounds um, called senolytics and these target senescent cells potentially removing them and reducing their harmful effects also around the corner is gene therapy and this is research that is exploring it's research that is exploring various ways to actually uh, prevent dna damage and also repair dna and i'll be talking a lot about this too the new the new um, gene therapies that are coming that are around the corner so uh, defective genes associated with dna repair um, with dna can be repaired through gene therapies also um, now uh, there's a big relationship between what we call diet and gene stability and this is now being explored a lot in research centers so although no single food can enhance gene stability uh, and genetics lifestyle and other factors play a role in genomic integrity there are several several promising nutrients around the corner so micronutrients folate plays a crucial role in dna synthesis uh, methylfolate and repair and sources of folate include uh, leafy greens uh, legumes citrus fruits fortified foods vitamin b12 works together with folate and supports dna methylation a process crucial for gene repair and also um, there are many other nutrients that do the same thing so um, vitamin d plays a role in cell differentiation and proliferation potentially impacting dna stability sources include sunlight exposure fatty fish fortified foods there's magnesium uh, which i uh, take daily which is involved in dna repair mechanisms and dna uh, enzymes that are involved in DNA repair and also in cellular antioxidant activity and so magnesium is found in greens nuts seeds and whole grains there are phytochemicals phytochemicals means chemicals derived from the energy of the sun and these are very promising in enhancing gene stability carotenoids found in brightly colored fruits and vegetables have antioxidant properties that may protect against DNA damage. Curcumin, which is the main ingredient in curry powder and found in uh, turmeric, um, has anti-inflammatory properties and antioxidant properties that may support DNA health. Reservatrol, so reservatrol found in grapes, and red wine, but you have to drink a lot of red wine and don't recommend that. Um, but it's found in grapes and may, it can activate genes involved in DNA repair and production. Reservatol is also available in capsules. And then other dietary components, fiber can help reduce inflammation, promote gut health, both of which may indirectly impact gene stability. Sources of fiber, of course, include fruits, vegetables, legumes, and whole grains. And I also already mentioned healthy fats, omega-3 fatty acids found in fatty fish and nuts that may have anti-inflammatory and protective effects on DNA. Okay, this is a little bit of summary on the role of nutrients, on the role of diet, and uh, of course, um, Health span involves a complete holistic approach. And as we continue this series, I will be talking more on the role of signal molecules, Ayurveda, adaptogens, and many other things that can enhance gene stability, but also are involved in 
epigenetic modulation and many other things that I'll talk about later. So much for today. I hope you're enjoying this series.